Okay, that's good. Stay Thursday. How to make a Kodak Black type beat. All right, monetization, monetize with ads. That's, that's fucking fine, okay. Yeah, and... Uh, Hmm. All right. Um, enter an interesting title and description and upload a thumbnail. Um, let's go ahead and hey man who I got with me this is DJ Smooth man we're about to get started I'm just setting everything up um, and uh, inviting some folks in <clears throat> so um, yeah bear with me alright <clears throat> Nobody uses Google Plus anymore. Published blogger. Nobody uses that shit anymore either. So we're gonna do a Kodak Blackbeat. Um, just about to get um get started. So uh, bear with me. I'm gonna shoot some stuff off to Instagram rooms and um over to Reddit to a couple of those forms. So yeah. Um, you know what? Never mind, Reddit. It's not really, I'm not, I'm kind of weird on that anyways. Welcome. And let me see, where is my link? Where is my invite link? Invite link. Um, there we go. Um, so... Inbox for search five. Okay. So Copy, yeah, sin. So, 
I'm going to invite a couple of people, y'all, um, from my various rooms to, okay, that's eight. I've got a ton of rooms, so, um, 20 or so. So give me a second and uh, we're going to get started. I've got some, uh, some stuff pre made up. So, um, it's uh it's about to go down just give me a, like 90 seconds or so and we'll get uh we'll get to cracking mile five <clears throat> number three everybody that's uh joining me uh welcome um we about to do a beat cook up this thursday and that's uh, gonna be a um based on a Japanese Koto uh, sample that uh, I um, found on YouTube, of course. Um, YouTube's a great resource for digging up any kind of music that uh, floats your boat. So I, I do, and I do it often. And finding solo music is extremely easy and uh, very uh, productive. And, you know, chopping stuff up the solo music, um, solo instruments, it makes it a lot easier to clear samples because you're not even using, like, the original melody at all, you know. And if you get caught, then you get caught. But for the most part, you know, <laughs> they got to catch it. And uh, it's really not my responsibility to... Um, to what do you call it? It's not my responsibility to tell you, uh, uh, that, uh, you're, you know, you're not, um, legal anyways. Um, almost there. I got one last room to go. That's the, uh, little group here on YouTube that I've, I'm in, uh, I'm part of, I'm going to invite those guys to come by and, um, and join us so all right now that we are ready uh i got a couple people here and stuff i've got everything set up it is um time to go ahead and get started i wish i knew how to do the super chat um but you know, I'll worry about that the next time. Anyways, hey, welcome to uh, the Thursday Beat Cookup. And we got, uh, let's see, we got a sample ready to chop. Let's um, pull up the mixer. Um, we've got a new template that um, we put together that uh, is based on um, some ideas from a friend of mine in uh, Delgado another producer here on YouTube. Um, this is a Kodo sample. Um, it's a Japanese instrument. And let's go ahead and have a listen to it, shall we? Okay, that's kind of cool. This is the one that I kind of wanted. So I'm going to zoom in here and uh, go ahead and start chopping. So we uh, highlight the stuff. Dun, 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 dun. And then um, let's just make quick work of it. It's not quite timed right, but um, we're just going to keep it moving. Um, and I'm not really worried about the hiss either. I could dump this into a program and de-hiss it, but... But... Doom, doom, doom. That's all right. Um, we'll go ahead and hit that on the downbeat there. Um, and we're going to take a few samples of cups. Uh, 
Um, that's a release. So I'm looking for... I'm looking for um, call and response. And I'm looking for um, tension and release. So what's what I'm looking for in my cuts? Not necessarily uh, on the downbeat. Um, in that case, I kind of like that whole little phrase. Now, uh, this album has this phrase in it twice. I know I have not cut this sample to before, but I have uh, a, another song that actually used this phrase right here. Ding, 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 ding. And if I have cut this sample, then there's enough here right now that I can make another beat. So no big deal. Um, you know, um, let's see. Bang, 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 bang. Mm-hmm. So, bam, we got... Ding, 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 ding. Mm -hmm. Quick work. Now there's a release note. Mm, I like this part. I'm looking for, I'm looking for unique passages that, that um, start in different tones and um, that I can that I can um, patch together now um, we were over here I don't really I want back here okay so um, damn it I <laughs> grr Okay, so we're getting at like 20 chops. That's a lot to work with. So, why does it keep bouncing me back? There we go. Mm. Okay, it's uh, froze on me there. Okay. So... Then. Ooh, man, it sounds like, um... Kung Fu Hustle. All right, so we're getting back to the original phrase. <clears throat> okay, we got enough chops. Uh, I I, have, I believe I am mistaken um, that I have actually chopped this up before and uh, made a beat with it, but I think I might be able to do enough with the variations here. So let's get um, let's get cracking, but. First of all, we select this out of everything else here. Um, then close that. Let's um, let's bring up a slice X. Give us a home for these samples. Is that cool? All right. All right. What do y'all think, guys? Still got two folks with me. Thanks for coming in. 
so then we take this highlighted area that we've got in red, drag it over here into the slice X, put it on channel one. Uh oh. Uh, let's pull that back up. But first, before we do anything else, the, the next step is uh, saving the sample. So we can just pull it right back up. Saying this is, I think, cut number three. So I can pull it back up if we crash. F9 brings up the mixer. The mixer brings up our Edison. We replace that with none and that will get rid of the memory stuff that we've got going on. Mm. All right. So that's a good plug-in. I love this plug-in, by the way. Sugar Bites makes some cool shit. But I don't need it right at the moment. All right. Now that we've got our everything uh, loaded up to start working on a melody, let's start working on a melody. Okay. Uh.
Okay. I got um I got a lead. Let's see. Dun, 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 dun. And we just need to do another chop. So we got, uh, maybe that'll work. Um, let's get a tempo on that. Um, yeah. ding, ding, ding. 90, 91, 92. Okay, that'll work. Um, so next up, we'll pull up this um, piano roll. And where is it? Piano roll, piano roll, bam. So it's uh, one, two, three, four. One... One, two, three. One, two. Ding, ding, do, 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 So, bam. Let's loop that and see what happens. Okay, Ted. Okay, we'll use that. How about that? Let's try that. <laughs> okay, I like that. Um, I want to do it a little bit faster, so let's pull it up a um, sim, uh, uh, <clears throat> full tone, I mean a tone. Okay. Um, mm, 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 mm. All right.
So we're just doing some little um, creative. Um, doing a little creative here. Okay, um, I think we got something going on there. Um, y'all let me know if it's whack or not. Hey. Appreciate you tuning in, Russians and everyone. This is more like a... New York up tempo type joint. So um, I kind of dig that. I wasn't intending to make it that way, but what the fuck ever, you know? Um, let's pick out some drums and just something random, I guess. All right, so 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. All right, I'm going to take this uh, reverb off of here. And I'm just going to leave it at that for right now. I like that. It's kind of trashy. We may wind up changing it later, but uh, let's just get something moving. Um, and um, and see if we can make something pop on that. Turn that off. Make sure that's okay. Turn this up to 10. And uh, I'm going to leave the reverb in this for the moment. Um, so... Um, Make sure we got this to cut off it cut off. And what the fuck? What the fuck is that? Um anyways, um so Wow. I just realized you can't even hear me talking. How about that? That's some crazy shit. Um <laughs> Okay. Hope y'all heard the beat. I mean, hell, if you're tuning in and I ain't even, you can't even hear what's going on. That's some fucked up shit, right? Anyways, uh, you live and learn. So let's get something popping on this bitch. Three. Uh. So, yeah, one, two, three. Okay, so control can chew, just cop, chew, 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 bam, piano roll. Control A, C, V, and
All right, um, that's going to go on 10, 11, no loop points, edit, and eight reverb type stuff, get rid of the loops, dump that back in there, and, and, mm, control A, normalize it. I thought we got rid of that loop. Um, anyways, yep. Um, so let's go ahead and get in here and record this stuff. Um, three. Uh, uh. Taz Taylor in my New York drum kit. I don't know. I didn't know who this was. Taz, nice drums. <clears throat> so nine goes on here. We're going to detect our pitch regions. Said A2, just like a real 808. <clears throat> Delete the loops. Um, pull that back in and make sure that is off. Polyphony of one and drop that down to A. Now, I don't have any idea what key this is in and since we pitched it up by three tones um, we're gonna need to make sure everything else that we build on this that's tonally available is um, is usable so we can take our simple synth here
Okay, so that's um, in possibly D flat. Okay, yeah, that's in D flat. So um, D flat in. So I'm not a very good keyboard player, um, as you can obviously notice, um, but it sounds relatively close to um, right on. So I don't think we have to pitch anything up or down. I don't think we have to mess with the, the tones too much to make it match. So next up is to figure out what to do with this unhealthy 808. And let's just get that. Okay. What happened to what happened to us? Bam ba do 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 Hell on disc. Where are our tones? Huh, that's weird. We're not getting any signal from our keyboard. How about that? All right, let's cut it off and cut it back on. Fucking weird. And... MIDI. All right, there we go. So I figured out what's going on. We're pitched all the way down. I don't know what that sounds like. What is it? What do y'all think it sounds like? something on da 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 okay and we're gonna put that on the unhealthy 
F F is that even in key A? It is not. It's an F. Okay, so we're gonna drop F, <clears throat> and we're just gonna do a pitch bend here. How does that work? Oh, we had that. I hear my son is awake. Not a long enough bass drum to really do anything, is it? all that out let's get us a um knife out for a little gunfight <laughs> No. No. Nope, 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 nope. Um, that's right, you're not doing this in double time, are you, Smooth?
just fucking around with the. The hi hat pattern. Do a little scoop. And on this. All right, let's see what happens here. All right, yeah, um, so <coughs> I'm not particularly excited about this beat, but that's what happens whenever you start making a beat. It's never always what you uh, start out to make. Usually, sometimes, I don't know. Well, at least for me, I just follow the muse. That's the important thing is just to get um, get something out and make something every day.
Okay. Now uh, we got some pan. We got some a um, uh, little bit of like I think we can do something like this. And Let's see what happens. All right. Um... Sweep sound better, don't y'all? Okay, so I'm gonna add a little bit of height uh, with the open hi hat pattern, and um, I think we'll just do it on the downbeat. Where were we at? We were. It just doesn't really matter, man. Drums are all over the place. Tonic drums, hookup drum kit, funnel, high impact. I don't know whose stuff this is, but man, some good stuff, huh? Yeah. All right. Um, Martians, Mac OS. It looks like it uh, might have some open hats in it. All right, we'll go with something like a little sweep to it. And stick it in here. Twelve, thirteen. That's what she said, huh? Uh, fourteen. No loop points. Make sure the time is off. Then we just drop this on eight. Now four. So, if you notice that you're not getting any pitch effects whenever you're going up and down the keyboard, make sure your time is on there. So, um... Okay, um, so let's see, let's turn that off there. Let's get this um, set up as a quantized unit. <clears throat> we need to put this at 13, 14, maybe 15. 
14, 15. <laughs>
close to the end here. Um, so this little cook up is um, almost finished. I don't, um, I don't know. I'm not really crazy about this beat, but um, a lot of times I'll just uh, finish them up just because um, <clears throat> it's uh, it's good to finish what you started, regardless. And you know, you never know. I might hit on something here at the end on the um, the home stretch that. Uh, actually mm, completes everything you know what i'm saying so uh, you do a beat from uh start to finish that's just the idea you need to you know see it out and uh, if you don't then you don't but um what is that I don't have any ideas. I'm out. Let's see. stab so put this on channel three and look into
probably a little much. Sounds kind of cool. One, two, three. I think we'll work with that, right? Three, three, and four, and. Wanted to do. Hey, 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 piano roll. saving this beat this is some like not a kodak black beat at all <laughs> more like fucking i don't know man kodak is not getting on anything this fast i don't think but yeah he will anyways uh kodak black cook up all right anyways um this shit went into left field quick but um let's Let's play around with some patches on this guy. See what Casey's got, right?
uh, it pays off. You know what I'm saying? Um, because I've been working on this thing for an hour and a half, and um, you know, a lot has happened in an hour and a half. My uh, my youngin woke up from his nap, and and all that, and uh, you know, uh, you, you can work and work and work on something, and it just becomes like so repetitive, especially when a sample. And it just, you know, you just feel like quitting and saying, fuck this beat, fuck this shit, like, put it away. What's, what's next? And in this case, you know, I was, I uh, was in that, you know, that mindset for a little while. But um, after playing with the growth speed a little bit and manipulating and fucking around and fucking around with patches and fucking around, I finally got a patch that I think really complements what we got going on. Play it for you. That's the original sample, right? That we started out with cutting. And I've got a little bit of EQ on it. We're doing a little band pass on there. And I just don't want all those frequencies in there. I like that deep, deep reverb on there. And this patch is like, yo, that's hot. so much. Pitch it, turn the loop off, throw it on 13. And let's just record a simple clap to it. So. What's up, big boy? Come here. He wants his mama. <laughs> Okay, so this beat is coming out kind of hot. You know what I'm saying? Um, what's up, Prez? I'm new to this shit. So, um, sorry for uh, if I'm boring the fuck out of you. Uh, this is This is dope.
just check the mix on the monitors, man. Um, we might be ready to lay this out. Um, gotta shut the mic off for a second, all right? So um, let's wrap this beat up. I'm, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling this new mix layout that I've got here. Um, it's actually really clean. It's, it's a lot better than uh, than the sounds that I've been used to getting because I like quick sample fast. So I'm learning every day and trying to get uh, get things going that uh, that people want to buy. You know, that's the main thing is like, I don't care how good your beats are, if people aren't buying your stuff, then you're not, uh, you're not all the way there yet. So let's build the brand, make quality. 
quality beats while we're doing this. And uh, this rough mix is pretty good. It's a little heavy on this side here. Just visually just checking over everything and making sure it sounds good. Uh, And I always remember, like, the lower you listen to uh, the volume of your um, your mix, the easier it is to pick out things and make uh, decisions on levels. You know what I'm saying? Like this. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and lay this thing out, shall we? I appreciate you, everybody, tuning in um, and watching me uh, while I learn how to live stream and cook up a beat uh, in real time. It's... Um it's always fun. Get out of your comfort zone and learn some new stuff. I think we can bring the bass down some. This isn't where I wanted this. Um... <laughs> no wonder. It's actually the Check on the mix on the monitors again. Hold on. This is the output and uh, we never touch the master here we just have that going straight here and we've got a filter situation here in case we want to throw a, a filter on the, the mix bus which sounds really fucking good if we want to like start the beat off like that I think we can and not hurt anything you feel me um, anyways And now I'm hearing like an electric guitar lead on this motherfucker. Um, and we're an hour and 45 minutes into this beat. And... <laughs> oh, shit. Let me think, man. Do I want to put an electric on this? I don't know. Um... Fuck. 
Let's let's not. I don't want to pull it out and tune it up and then like embarrass myself. So there we go. So uh, I rarely use the equalizer on zone. You need to fix the mix before even fucking with the equalizer on a master uh, compressor, master uh, mix compressor. But the multi band here, I'm tend to like just make it work a little bit on the bottom three channels. Try to have the mix ready and not correct anything at all with this um, because I'm not mastering anything. But you just want it to work a little bit on the multiband compressor here and then um, you want the fastest possible um, release on here and I need headroom for the for you to rap on you feel me the bass doesn't need to be like that on there let's close everything out let's get a playlist window going on and stretch this fella out and let's drop the pattern in let's split the channel out and run the clean hat down here where I like to put the percussion stuff this goes in like uh, yeah that's good right there like C 13 Points is that's an open hi hat, so we want to put that there. Closed hi hat is this is an 808, so we'll drop that on nine. Saudi snare 90s is hi hat. Power, this is another open hat. And single hi hat on there. We'll go with. The Kyoto, the Kodo, sorry, and the Electrax pad ish thingy. And here and here and here. That's everything. We got room for, I use these typically for um, automation lanes. Okay. So let's copy this out to be approximately three minutes long. And uh, we'll do. Uh, yeah, we'll run with that. Um, this is a faster beat, so 94 is a New York type tempo. This is live, it's kind of chunky. And um, we're just gonna start out with the original tones. not start out with hi-hats let's go with um let's see that's good fucking nerves right here I already see that so I gotta fix it now I um yeah see um 
I need this right here underneath the base, right? So um, I know what's what. Uh, it's just one of those weird things I have to have. So in this case right here, um, this uh, melodic instrument, we need to turn the growth speed off for the minute. So we coming in hot and Okay, um, all the rest of the instruments are actually coming in there, so... I'm just gonna come in, like, you know, on this uh, normal uh, drop. So we'll do a short, like, um, short hooks on this motherfucker, I think. I can hear fucking Takashi all over this shit. Just growling on this motherfucker, right? I'm just gonna do uh, eight bar verses. And that's what we're going to do. Um, so we're going to cut all of the drums for this part here. So that and that we're going to come in. <coughs> and the bass there. All right, let's um, let's do this. Let's not leave my hand out like that. Let's get rid of the open hi hats. Okay, okay. 
okay, okay. We're going to cut out our snares right here. Okay, we're gonna go with that. And then we're gonna take a cut here and then come back with that. Um save that as uh, what it is and then we're going to copy our value and throw us an automation clip on ya and we're gonna do a fade out here give them a little time to uh, get um, uh, have a nice outro because it's kind of a live track and paste that value, run that back, pull this out, bring it on down and, uh, and stuff and stuff. Um, the next thing we're going to do is let's automate a couple of these effects and, um, with the filter here, uh, on the intro, I want to, uh, I want to have, um, let me see, um, I want to have a, a band pass. clip right through here and um, gonna erase it promptly nope let's grab it bring it on out and I wonder what a fade in like this Cut this here. See what this comes in as. All right. I think we're going to be 
good with that. But You know, it usually only takes me about 45 minutes to make a beat. Um, unless I run into issues where I, I feel less than inspired in the middle of it somehow. And that's what we've done here is uh, kind of felt like um, abandoning this shit. But I've got an audience out there that's watching me make this beat. And I gotta fucking finish it. So... Thanks for sticking with me cuz I'm having to stick with the beat. Let's um let's throw us some um automation clippage in here. And Okay, what happened there? Yeah, you know what we're going to do is, um, we're going to get rid of this intro part here. we're going to do is we're going to take everything here and we're going to um, put this part right here <clears throat> here right and start it to do next is pop a clean hi-hat in there right to start so the rapper knows where the one is so why aren't we hearing that huh. Because we got that. <laughs> got that high pass filter in there. So what we can do is instead of the hi hat, we'll throw this kick drum in, in here, right? And um, that way it'll cut through, right? So we're good there, right? We're good? Everybody's good? All right. Everybody's happy?
happens if we do this. I think we just kill the vibe, don't we? Um, it works on some things, but not always. Uh, on everything. So, without further ado... So, save this, and let's see if we do this last little bit here. What happens if we go and do a filter cut? After this, uh, that sounds good. I like that. Um, we're just gonna keep the rest of this pretty simple. And, um, thanks for tuning in, y'all. Really uh, appreciate everybody that stuck around for the beat, uh, for even parts of it. Um, it was fun, and I learned a lot. And, um, man, I've got a ton of unfinished beats I could just go in and finish up if I wanted to, but um, not. I like moving forward. And not backwards. We're just going to name this what it is for right now. Hey, motherfucker. Give me some numbers. This is the tempo. And yeah. So. We're going to let this thing dump, and then I'm going to uh, play the beat at the end here. Let it play all the way through. Say goodbye. If you like this, um, please leave a comment, um, a like, and subscribe. And uh, tell me like what it is you want to see on our next video. If it's a... Um, you know, a tutorial on something besides beats. Uh, if you want to know how to mix, if you want to know how to master, um, if you want to know how to get that uh, bottom in fat and juicy, 
Um, even, you know, how to set up streaming so you can do your own uh, live streaming of your own beat cookups or uh, how to even make a video uh, on on Free Loops, uh, um, not even streaming. Because it took me months to figure out how um, to go about um, uh, making a video that didn't have a bunch of crackling and popping in it. So I'd love to save some people some time on that. Um, and um, yeah, so yo, here's the beat and um, appreciate y'all coming in. Here's the finished joint. Um, enjoy, like, and sub, and drop a comment. Here's the beat, y'all. Thanks for tuning in. I'm turning off this mic now. I want to hear this on the monitors, all right? Or not. <laughs> Let's wrap this thing up, guys. I appreciate y'all tuning in. I'll drop this uh, video for this um, on the uh, morrow. I'll do a I'll drop this track just you know because, and uh, we'll talk to y'all um, ASAP. All right. Peace out, and thanks for tuning in. <laughs>